stronger than a polar tanker. As ubiquitous as digital video. As invisible as clean natural gas. And smarter than, well, he's very smart. Together they fight the ongoing battle. Everyone, goes home. Safe. They are the Zero Heroes. This episode, Lotto, It's Not a Game. Camille, hurry! Lotto Quiz is about to start. Okay, just getting the popcorn. Is it eight o'clock already? Oh, popcorn. Thanks, Camille. Man, I love this show. And now, on tonight's lockout tagout quiz, it's time to welcome your host, Ivan Open Question. Who do we have on the road to zero tonight? Uh, um, hi, uh, uh, Ivan. My name's Bob. And what makes you think you can get to zero, Bob? Well, uh, I think I know quite a bit about uh, lockout tagout procedures from work, Ivan. Oh, you do? And I wonder how many of those principles you use at home. Let's find out as we play Say What You See! Oh, I love this game. Now, look at the screen, Bob. You've got 20 seconds starting now! Um, uh, hills, uh, eyes, uh, the, the, the hills of eyes. Yeah, and uh, um, time, time is, time is short. Although there's no question so important that, that we can't take, take the time to answer it correctly. No, no, I've got it, I've got it, yes, um, yeah, um, it, it's only a two-minute job. I'm afraid you're out of time, Bob. It's isolate. <laughs> this is the lockout tagout quiz, remember? Next question. We'd like you to look at this image and tell us what happens next. Oh, an isolation is being secured with a lock. An isolation tag should be fitted next. Let's find out. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> well done, Bob! Oh, God. You're five points closer to zero. But for a bonus point, can you tell me anything else? Well, yeah, I, I know this. Uh, an isolation key should be secured in an isolation key suite or key safe. <laughs> Correct! You're one step Nero. To zero! <laughs> Let's see if you can fill in the blanks on this well-known phrase. Oh, uh, first lock something. First lock on, yeah. Uh, last something off. Uh, last <laughs> lock off. That's right! <laughs> so, Bob, got any family here tonight? Oh, yes, I've got my wife and my two kids. Feeling confident. Very confident. <laughs> now, however, it's not always good to be overconfident, is it? Because that's when mistakes can happen. That's not the question, Bob. This is the question. Which options are relevant when identifying hazards and selecting an isolation? Level of isolation. Draining, flushing, purging, and venting requirements. Depressurization of plants or equipment. Um. And the correct options are... He's got all the answers, ladies and gentlemen! Way to all go, right, Bob. Bob! So, Bob, tell us, why do we use lotto procedures? Why? Well, because we all know someone who's had a near miss or a near hit. I mean, take my mate Jimmy. No, thank you. No, but seriously, nobody wants to be surprised by trapped pressure or a live circuit, or a hydrocarbon spill, do they? Good point. Take a look at this. What has to happen before this equipment is returned to service? Well, the isolations need to be removed, and then the whole thing needs to be tested. Hydrocarbon leaks. Correct. <laughs> Take a look at the screen again, Bob, and tell me which three checks should be made with an independent authority 
before working on a previously pressurized hydrocarbon system. Hmm. Equipment to be worked on. Limits of isolation and ensure any equipment is inoperable. The equipment is fully depressurized, drained and safe to work on. It's definitely one and two. I'm not sure about this one. Time is ticking. Come on, <coughs> two out of three ain't bad. But he should know that. Now let's look at the scores on Bob's journey to zero. Bit of a tricky one now, Bob. If the work scope changes and evolves working on equipment outside the isolation envelope, what would you do? Well, I'd stop work, I'd make the area safe, and then I'd report the issue to my supervisor or the permit office. You made it! You're this week's Zero Hero! <laughs> 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 And the prize? No incident, no injury, no harm to the environment. But I do have one final question, Bob. It's this your home? Yeah. Well, we've been up your stairs, and this is what we found. Your toaster. Your light bulb your shortcut, your son. It's not just you, Bob. It's all of us. And we're all on the same journey on the road to zero. And if we can try hard, we can all be... Zero, zero. Heroes! If you see it... You own it. How do we get there? Know your own limits. Who do we look out for? Ourselves and others. Remember, folks, do it safely or not at all. It's goodbye from Bob and goodbye from me. And we'll see you next time on Zero Heroes Quiz Show! Hello, my name is Paul Warwick. I'm the president for the UK and Africa for ConocoPhillips. Now, lockout tagout is uh, one of the major procedures that we use to protect ourselves within the hydrocarbon industry. I think it's important for us to think about positive isolations. It's important for us to understand that the hydrocarbon system doesn't have any residual pressure within it. It's important for us to understand that the electrical systems are dead. It's not just a procedure that we apply and we read and we say that it's all okay because somebody else may have assured us that the isolations are all right. If we want to work on things, we should check that the system's not under pressure, that the electrical systems are not live. Make sure that they're checked dead. Make sure that the motor over there doesn't start because somebody hasn't properly isolated it. I think if we apply lockout tagout in its fullest sense and really think through and plan our activities, including the startup of the system, understanding potential leak paths, understanding what can go wrong when we start up as well. We can operate in this inherently unsafe business in a very safe way, protect ourselves, protect our workmates, and ensure that we don't have incidents and injuries within our company. Thank you. Everyone goes home safe. Always operate within design or environmental limits you have the authority to stop unsafe work. You see it, you own it. Take action. Always assess the risk of each job. They are the Zero Heroes.